universal recognition came in plenty to Shiali Ramamrita Ranganathan. Deal it from Delhi University along with Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Doctorate from Pittsburgh University. On his right is Dr. Quincy Mumford and to his left are Drs. Litchfield, Shannon and Weaver. The most coveted, the National Research Professorship, an honor the library profession never had before him or after. Others who shared such a distinction were Sir C. V. Raman, Dr. K. S. Krishnan, S. N. Bose, Kani. What was the secret of this man, whose centenary is being celebrated worldwide? Born in Sirgari, Ranganathan lost his father when he was six. Spent his early childhood in Ubhayavedantapuram, a peaceful village on the river Kaveri's delta home of many an intellectual. began hearing the chanting of Devaram and Veda Parayanam from the nearby temples, a constant reminder of his ancient Hindu culture. Sabanayaka Mudalayar's Hindu high school in the small temple-rich town Sirgari. Sickly but brilliant, he showed promise. The 19th century saw a cultural renaissance in India. Men who created history, forged a new identity, came on the scene. Gandhi. Dada Bhai Nauroji. Tagore. Ramanujan. Sri Aurobindo. V. Krishnaswami Ayer, Bharatiyar, C. V. Raman, and Ranganathan. In 1909, Ranganathan came to Madras, studied at the Madras Christian and Teachers Colleges. Joined the Presidency College as assistant professor in mathematics. His classes were lively. 
and library centre. A concept inspired by John Dewey, whom he greatly admired. He enjoyed teaching, but destiny had other plans. A reluctant Ranganathan joined the University of Madras as librarian. It's first. The university library functioned at first in the Connemara Library. Soon he was sent to England for training. Berwick Sayers, his teacher in London, and the public library services in Croydon and elsewhere, opened a new world to him. Coates, Fosket, Palmer, librarians, later fascinated by him. Back home, his work became a mission. Libraries as agents of social change and growth. And in May 1928, the library moved to the Senate House. Ranganathan designed a new home for the library, the present one. even the chair on which he hardly sat. Always on his feet, helping readers. Most of his fundamental work was done in Madras. His ideas spread throughout the library world. Many were his innovations. Reference service. open access system, home delivery of books, longer working hours, experimenting with new ideas, Ranganathan formulated the five laws which he publicly announced at the Meenakshi College, the nucleus of Annamalai University.
He designed the colon classification, developed the classified catalog, streamlined library administration. The Madras Library Association was founded for creating library awareness, for promoting the library movement, library legislation, conducting training courses. Several publications and memoirs were published. His pioneering spirit took the library on wheels, a bullock cart to rural areas. The first step in adult education. An idea far ahead of its time. The first mobile library in the country. Dr. Anwarathan was a very active member of the Indian Adult Education Association and also the Delhi Corporation Department of Urban Community Development, which adult education was called at that time. There, his main emphasis was to produce literature for the new reading public. By new reading public, he meant the new literate plus the dropouts from the primary schools. These two groups constituted the new reading public. Leaving Madras in 1944 at the invitation of Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, then Vice-Chancellor, he went to the Banaras Hindu University as Professor of Library Science. the magnificent library. And then came another invitation from Sir Maurice Guire, Chief Justice of India and Vice-Chancellor to join the University of Delhi.
in the old Viceregal Lodge, where the Graduate School of Library Science began. developed the Department of Library Science and designed courses leading to higher degrees. He established the Department of Library Science at the university. He also started the Master of Library Science and PhD programs. The, these were two courses which were started for the first time in the whole of Commonwealth. Ranganathan's work gained increasing recognition for the profession, and his report was accepted by the University Grants Commission. He was also instrumental in getting formal recognition to librarians and others working in the university colleges in getting parity and status. At the invitation of Professor P.C. Mahala Nobis, Ranganathan set up the Documentation Research and Training Center in Bangalore as part of the Indian Statistical Institute. from his house, Sharada, a daily routine. Students accompanied him discussing professional topics, informally, in unique Gurukula tradition. TC later moved into its sprawling new campus on the road to Mysore. RTC has grown into a key institution for advanced education and research in library science. A significant contribution to information retrieval and information support to industry.
The first Public Library Act of 1948 in the Madras Presidency was the result of his vision and perseverance. Other states like Andhra and Karnataka followed. Ranganathan was an institution builder associated with the planning and setting up of two UNESCO aided projects, the Delhi Public Library, a pilot project for providing library services, a model for all developing countries to follow. Instock started in the National Physical Laboratory and is now in its own building, providing a wide range of documentation and information services for scientific and industrial research. A nodal agency for access to international sources of information. Ranganathan, as a thinker and writer, remains unique. His five laws embody the quintessence of the philosophy of information service for all time, coping with the ever-changing environment. The analytico-synthetic approach to knowledge organization in his colon classification, which was translated into Chinese, Russian and other languages, indexing techniques and query analysis have found applications in the British National Bibliography, British Technology Index, in modern information retrieval and knowledge-based systems. His reference service emphasizes friendly human interface with users equally applicable in today's automated systems. Library administration provides a systematic micro-analysis of library activities, job analysis and ergonomics. His professional impact was felt worldwide. He was invited by several institutions, the UN, Rockefeller Foundation, UNESCO International Federation for Documentation IFLA International Standards Organization Universities and National Libraries and International Conferences to share his ideas Ranganathan prepared plans for a national library system, model library acts for various states, founded many library associations, launched professional journals, annals of library science, library science with a slant to documentation. Ranganathan contributed a lack of rupees for establishing in Madras University the Sharada Ranganathan Chair of Library Science first of its kind in the Commonwealth. The Sharada Ranganathan Endowment for promoting research, conducting training courses and arranging annual lectures. 
what impact did his mission have on some of his contemporaries and colleagues? That uh, concept uh, had great relevance, not only in mathematics for Ranganathan, but also in library science, where he imagined a library focuses attention on one very important aspect, namely that knowledge is one and indivisible, and uh, the, you, there can be no fragmentation or atomization of knowledge. Basically, knowledge is structureless, which Ranganathan himself said, it's like water. The structure knowledge takes according to the container or the receiver. So, what he believed was that knowledge is, uh, can flow from seminal level to phenomenal level. Whereas knowledge at seminal level is a kind of a unity. Whereas uh, when you look at phenomenal level, that is distribution of knowledge at various points of use, it's a diverse one. Ranganathan's conception of a library is that it is a very powerful instrument for social progress. And the most uh, human service which he has thought of is the reference service. Then he was also saying that uh, the, on account of the volume of uh, publications that are outpouring and the way it has to be organized, he was really anticipating the advent of information society and all these techniques and other things are designed to take care of the challenges of the new information age. For one thing, because I think Sir Maurice Dwyer, who invited Ranganathan to reorganize the Delhi University Library, at that time he must have come to form a first rate opinion of Ranganathan's abilities his attainments and his convictions. We talk of zero, we talk of infinity. The concept of infinity, the concept of zero, and the concept of the Atman and Paramatman can only be comprehended by mathematics. God must have been a mathematician, somebody said. So also I would say God must have been a librarian. His was not a success story all the way. Many things he had hoped for still remain unfinished. But his life was one of total dedication, sacrifice, and faith in education and libraries as instruments of human progress. The international conferences organized in India by IFLA, International Society for Knowledge Organization, to mark Ranganathan's birth centenary, and the memorial resolutions by professional associations, the American Library Association, are some of the eloquent tributes. His was a vision of library and information service as a dynamic force to preserve and promote moral and democratic values, enhanced productivity in research and industry, develop human potential and raise the quality of life. <laughs> 